Well, here's a stunning article that took me by surprise. An art gallery took down a Victorian painting featuring topless women as a response to the Me Too movement. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me move this out of the camera frame to be slightly more professional. There we go. Okay. Um, so they explain how this is Manchester Art Gallery in England. It's a 19th century painting. The name of the painting is Hylas and Nymphs. <laughs> that is a funny name by John William Waterhouse. Uh, the gallery said it removed the painting to prompt a conversation. And they also said the hashtag Me Too and Time's Up movements were part of the thought process. Um, so they're also waiting on the public response to determine if they're going to put it back up. They said if people want it up, they'll put it back up. But if they don't, then they'll keep it down. Um, but listen to this. This really isn't a first. And this is a part of the story that I thought was really interesting. Nudity in works of art has presented problems before, online as well as in physical galleries. Facebook has been criticized for removing imagery of a nude statue of the god Neptune, which has stood in a public square in Bologna, uh, Italy, for centuries. It said the work was sexually explicit. Likewise, imagery of the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen, Denmark, was taken down for showing too much bare skin. While in 2016, officials in Florence, Italy, covered up Michelangelo's David during a visit by the president of Iran reportedly to respect the country's cultural norms. So, listen, man. The conclusion about this, in my mind, is... There are some people on the left, what I would call the authoritarian left, who are in their own way sexual Puritans. Now, I'm, I'm of course not saying, hey, we should excuse sexual assault and instances of that. Of course not. Never. Never. But what I am saying is, if you think it's a reasonable thing to lump into the Me Too movement to take down paintings that have topless people or naked people, you've just bastardized the entire issue. You've now made it so everybody's going to roll their eyes at it and go, here we go again. Because that's not, you're not actually crusading for justice. What you are is a sexual Puritan, and you're trying to censor things that trigger you. That's what that is. You don't have to like the painting, but you should be on the page of, I'm going to let them keep it up because this is not... There's no sexual assault or anything going on here. This is just, uh, it's called freedom. Hey, an artist depicted something and they're allowed to show it. I don't agree with any of, uh, taking down any of these things. Even the thing, oh, cover it up because the I Iranian leadership is coming here. No. <laughs> They'll get over it. They're not, it's not like Hassan Rouhani is going to be sleeping at night and go, ah, oh, fucking statue of David's penis. It, that's the other thing. It's also it's like it's like pandering and condescending. It's almost like they're saying, "Well, obviously nobody can handle a picture of some titties in a painting from the 19th century because what? Because what? You're, that'll make men run wild and start assaulting people? No. But like the implication is, you guys can't handle it. We're going to pull it down. Well, that's the same argument that fucking Christian fundamentalists make. That's the same argument. Christian fundamentalists are, are like, hey, we're against sex because this is, you know, this is corrupting and it's impure. Well, guess what? The authoritarian left says, hey, th this is corrupting and it's impure and it degrades and demeans women. So we, we got to take it down. Oh, come on. This is why I've always said I I'm a libertarian leftist. That means on social issues, do you, son? Do you? Of course, that does not mean don't conflate the issues. That doesn't mean, oh, let's all do sexual assault. Of course not. 100% against sexual assault. But this is not sexual assault. It's called freedom in art. And Christian fundamentalists are against freedom in art. And now the authoritarian left is against freedom in art. And they're conflating the issue and making it seem like it's a negative thing. This is not a negative thing. We're adults. We're adults. We can enjoy adult things. I mean, how long until the argument's made, hey, man, um, alcohol is oppressive to women because sometimes a woman will get drunk and have sex with a man and then regret it afterwards. So, hey, maybe we should get rid of alcohol because, it, you know, it's, it's impure and it's corrupting and it's oppressive. This is, this is libertarian leftism, libertarian leftism all day long.
Don't give me this fucking authoritarian garbage. That's what you care about? Oh, a painting! Oh! Naked people in a painting! Oh! Well, congratulations. You and Pat Robertson and John Hagee and Rick Santorum can all sit together and talk about how much you agree that restricting freedom is awesome.